Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. This 2012 BMW, it is a 750Li. As you can see, um, the plan is to do a one-step polish and the Fast Five ceramic coating. This would be the Fast Five version two, which is the version I've been using for over a year now, uh, getting it straight. Uh, there's a purpose for Fast Five version two, which I'm getting to very soon. I mentioned in my group, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation on Facebook recently that I had a massive, huge announcement and I'll be making that soon. But the, the process that I'm using here is a process that I've been using for the past at least 10 to 12 years. Um, I have been refining the process to get maximum results, not out, not only the efficiency out of the things that I do in the job, but I want the products to match the efficiency that I do. So that's what we've got, and I'll give you more information soon, but there is absolutely something brand new on the horizon. It is called Detail Juice Go. I've already put up the logo, well, an early version of the logo, it's still being tweaked right now, uh, in my group on Facebook and on my personal Facebook page. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. You can send me questions. Feel free to speculate. If you can decide exactly what's going on without me having to tell you or any of that, in its entirety, I'll give you a, a, a free care package. So let me know. Anyway, it's BMW, he obvious. It's always obvious that somebody uses the car wash when you can see brush marks that don't make it in and wheels that aren't completely clean. You can really see it on the front ones because they had more brake dust, but you can see he uses the car wash, which I have recommended it against. Whether he does anything about it, I don't know. It's his car, he can make that decision. We have this nasty, all kind of oxidized paint protection film on the front end, the whole thing. So I'm gonna to try to make that look a little bit better. There's one chip I'm gonna to try to fill in. I got some love bug damage on the back of this mirror, but I'll, I'm gonna get that polished up. But that's kind of where we're at. It does have some dings on it, and I'm gonna give him my buddy RJ's number but that's it. Uh, I have just washed and clay barred the roof. It's really, really, really bad with contamination. So that's kind of where I'm at now. I got all my gear laid out. Very soon you guys are gonna see that detailing trailer I've been talking about uh, and all of this gear will go in it. Um, I'm a rinseless detailer. I rarely ever do traditional washing. Uh, and that's kind of, I wanna do more videos on explaining why and how I'm so efficient and effective with my rinseless washing. Um, and you know, the bottom line is it doesn't have to be complicated. You just have to get the car clean and do what it is the customer is expecting of you per what you've agreed upon. So that's exactly what I do. Um, so I'm doing a rinseless wash. You can see that I have my clay and it is really contaminated. Again, I got the windshields front and back and the roof all done and this body piece there but I'm working around it wash and clay and then I'll do the wheels and then I'll bring you back when we start to polish we will be using Sunday's one step um, I have decided that that is the only polish that I need moving forward and uh, that's kind of all that I am and have been using for months and months now so um, more information about that coming soon. So I'll bring you back whenever I've got some work done to show you. And it's not a whole bunch of just random babble. All right, so I've got everything cleaned up and clay barred. I'm now polishing with Sunday's one step and my DeWalt 15 millimeter throw DA cordless job. 
with a uh, five and a half inch buff and shine orange pad. I polish this. Barely looks any better. I'm gonna see if I can improve that at all. But this is, you can see here where the tape was. See that haziness right there? And the little line right there. Anyway, I polished this side with one step. Just one pass or one section pass. And then I did two up here. Um, through the camera, I can tell a dramatic difference in defect removal here. It's pretty hammered. He takes it through the car wash. You can see a lot more of the haze deep down in there. I think the two-step is the better option, but I got to call the client out to look at it with me, and then we'll go from there. So... see trying to get you in the lights you can see how hammered it is it's not super clear big difference between where I did one section pass and then right now the lights are where I didn't do any right there and then it does get clearer back there if you're just looking at where the lights are so big improvement with the two steps versus one, but it really needs a rotary and a wool pad to knock down all those defects, which would be great because Sundays will definitely knock that out. Let's see. That line there, much, much glossier than right here. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys what was going on. I'm going to call the customer out. We're going to talk about which option is better and then uh, we'll go from there. So I'll bring you back shortly. Okay, so I've got all the polishing done on this thing and the wheels are done. I still have to ceramic coat literally everything. Uh, I have almost the complete interior done as well. I did, just did the top side engine bay detail that I offer with my Beyond Infinity package. And basically it's a... Um, a top side wipe down, if you will. So I use uh, Infinite Purpose Cleaner, which I have in a bottle somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Anyway, oh, right here. So I spray everything down with Infinite Purpose Cleaner. Then I just take a uh, damp towel and go and wipe everything down real good. So this is not an incredibly thorough engine bay detail but the cool part about it is it adds incredible value to the detail but what it does for the customer is especially you know those women who don't want to get underneath the hood this will allow them to get under the hood check the oil and that kind of thing without getting super dirty and so that's the biggest benefit plus um, like I said I just wiped the top side down I am going to apply the brand new tire shine that we just put together for a certain situation we're about to launch which i can't mention right now i already mentioned that i can't mention it but um there's a new dressing that i have it's for tires but it's also awesome for engine bays and interior should you want to use it i'm going to go ahead and dress this engine and i'll bring you right back but um all right again I did not mega fo focus on anything in this engine bay. But as you can tell, it looks very nice, presentable, and looks like somebody's been under here and, you know, people can tell that it's uh, clean and, you know, it's... People think that because something's clean, it's been better cared for. That's why a detail before you sell a car is incredibly important. So um, that's it, nothing fancy. Top side detail, I spend about 15 minutes on this whole process on these engine bays. That's about it. So now I'm gonna shut her down and keep on trucking. Yeah, not today, Mother Nature, not today. You didn't catch me outside today. Pretty stoked about that. Working on this fantastic 750 Li Beamer inside the garage. All right, anyway, so I've coded this side. I uh, still am working on the other side. So I'm going to get back to that. 
Then I'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, this BMW is all complete and this is what we're dealing with outside. So fortunately, I was in a garage to work today or I could have brought a gazebo and stayed pretty dry, but I knew it was gonna rain today. I booked this anyway because my client had a garage to work in. So it's all done. Let me show you what I did. All right, so this was the Beyond Infinity package at detailjuice.com. And that's basically what most would consider a full detail. So it's pretty much everything you can imagine without going crazy with paint correction. Um, so I showed you the engine bay. So I just did a top side engine bay clean, got that straight. Uh, this package also comes with a basic headlight restoration, which he had already had done, unfortunately. Um, so those looked all right when I got here. I did polish over them and then put my ceramic coating on top of them. So they are now protected by my stuff. I also polished out the fog lamps, made those look awesome. Uh, and then I ceramic coated over them. On the paint, I washed with Infinite Use Detail Juice, the original, and then I clay barred with my white Japanese clay. That's the best clay bar I've ever used. I've used pretty much everything I could get my hands on. And that one I've been importing from Japan for about 15 years now. And it's expensive, but it, it works really well. It's as aggressive as a medium uh, clay bar, but it is, it, it is ultra fine on the finish. So it doesn't mar like normal. So as far as the clay bar goes, the uh, contaminants come off, but it doesn't tear up the paint. So it doesn't put you in a position to have to chase your tail to make sure that uh, the paint is in good shape to then protect, if that makes sense. So anyway, so washed and clay barred, infinite use detail juice on my Japanese clay. And then after that, I got everything wiped down, all the residual water out of the nooks and crannies. Um, I then polished everything with the Sunday's one step. And I mentioned at the beginning of the, of the video that, um, well, I think I mentioned that the new, the version two of the Sunday's one step actually has the priming, priming catalyst in it that Amplify has in it. So moving forward when that's released, Amplify will be discontinued because there won't be any need to use it within my system. So um, I use the Sunday's one step that has the primer in it. So then after I wiped everything off the surface, all I did was go straight in to applying the ceramic coating. Um, this is the Goju Ceramic. Uh, this is the brand new one uh, for 2025. I actually have, it is based on Fast Five, my current ceramic coating. Uh, we sell a lot of that. It is so easy to use and such a pleasure to work with. And it looks absolutely stunning, as you can see. Um, it has an advanced hardener system that allows you to uh, use the product in direct sunlight should you need to. So that's pretty awesome. But anyway, uh, the Go, Go Ceramic is the 2025 variant, which I just did a promo at detailjuice.com for the 4th of July sale on this particular coating, but I called it Fast Five version two, because that's essentially what it is. It came from Fast Five, but we improved it. Um, it has a, a lot more gloss now. Uh, it is also, we have also refined the uh, hardener system, like I just mentioned, to work even better for direct sunlight applications. So anyway, I applied that to uh, the entire exterior, including the glass, all the trim. Uh, I tried to polish out this paint protective film but unfortunately there's just no hope for it it really needs to be removed but if you've ever done that you understand it's sometimes a chore in itself to make this go away because after all these years the paint underneath it is nice 
but the paint up here is not as nice. So it will look funny. Um, he opted not to have me take it off, mainly because nothing's peeling up, but it does look a little bit bad in my opinion. And we talked about that, but here we are. I uh, got the wheels all cleaned, hand polished with Sunday's One Step, and then I coated them as well with the new Go Ceramic. Uh, I also hit the tires with the same stuff I hit the engine bay with, which is the new Go Dressing. That stuff works really well, it's water based. Uh, so it rinses clean versus a solvent base that leaves snotty mess everywhere. Anyway, that stuff works awesome. It looks great. Probably can get a glimpse of this one a little bit better. This tire I'm talking about. That's just one coat. You can absolutely put another coat on to add to the gloss. I prefer them like this, which is why we designed this particular dressing. This is quite different than just to impress, actually. Um, this is a little bit more resistant to weather, but it is also more tunable. So the variations when you add water to it get a little bit better than uh, Dress to Impress did. Uh, the formula is also slightly less expensive, which is kind of the direction, uh, but I didn't want to lose any quality, which we didn't. So I was able to make a different concoction that does the same thing but better and it costs less to manufacture and it costs less for you guys to purchase so um, on the interior give you another shot of those tires they look awesome awesome on the interior this guy just really kept this thing nice so basically a vacuum damp shampoo I wiped all the seats down with infinite purpose cleaner and then I applied the, uh, the Go Juice, which is actually a different version of Infinite Insanity. Um, again, improving it for a situation that I'm going to launch for 2025. Not necessarily because it needed to be better, but because of a situation, we had to um, change it up just a little bit. Uh, it's actually stronger ceramic spray, and uh, the gloss enhancers are pretty amazing, but you can see that it will leave your leather looking very natural and normal instead of all snotty and gross. However, it has supreme UVA and UVB inhibitors. Clean the headliner out, a damp shampooed the carpet, like I mentioned, clean the leather, condition the leather. I hit the door jams, got the trunk. Everything is good to go. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching these videos and listening to me babble. If you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Um, I'm here if you need me. We are going through some major changes for the 2025 year, product-wise and my services-wise. So lots of things to update you on. I'm going to be launching this new situation this week sometime, but... I have to wait for approval on legalities before I can tell everybody, even though you have already seen the new logo, the detailjuice.com go logo. And um, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I got going on. And um, if you want products to make your car look this good, you're only gonna get those products at detailjuice.com. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and reach out if you've got any questions and please stay tuned for future videos because I have big stuff to share with you.